try real hard not to step on the camera. Hi everybody, it's Dave's Life Over 65. This is for my amateur radio friends. Um, we ha I'm working on a program called uh, MMDVM on a Pi Star. And I discovered after 16 hours of fiddling around the, the, uh, address, the address for the server that you need to connect to to use it was incorrect. So uh, I had to finally found somebody that knew what the correct address was. I've already made a video uh, uh, that shows you the actual steps, so that will be coming after this video. And uh, what, it, what it's for is uh, uh, P25 mode. If you go into your Pi Star using the, uh, the SSH uh, access program, which, I'll, which you will see in the video, you can go into the host file for P25 and add the correct address for that uh, server. Then you'll be able to use Talk Group 300, which is the Canadian Talk Group, and uh, you'll be able to communicate on P25 there. Um, it's always bothered me that the Canadian server, the one I want to use the most, is not available because you couldn't connect to it. But uh, I've, I've gone through the steps and we're now connected, so everything's working great. So uh, if you have a P25 radio, and you want to connect to up to us, us Canucks and talk to us on Talk Group 302. Uh, follow the steps in the video that will follow this video and you will be able to uh, connect up to 302 and talk to us. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and above all, be safe. So, we're going to start by bringing up Pi Star, which is in this window. And there it is. Okay, your first step is to go into the configuration screen. And that will require you to log in if you haven't already. And then you want to go to Expert, SSH Access. And then you have to log in again because you're actually going in by SSH. Secure something. Anyways, login is the same as you just did. Okay, then you get the screen. Let's make it a full screen. Okay. And you want to log in again. Or you're already logged in, never mind that. So the first thing you want to do is get uh, read write access. So we go there, that's it. RPI dash RW. And then we want to give ourselves supervisor access. So we go sudo su. As you can see, this turned red. That means that we have supervisor access and we're sitting in the pi star directory. So we want to go to the root directory so we can go cd slash a root. Just to make sure you're in the right place, do an ls and there you go. See the uh, P25 host is where we want to go, so I use the editor called nano, N-A-N-O, space, P, capital P, 25, capital H, O-S-T-S, cases, it is case sensitive. Now, if you don't have this file, when you type that, it'll give you a blank screen. Okay, what you then have to do is type in this this address here. Basically, there's a 302 is your is the um, talk group that I'm adding. The uh, address for the server for that talk group is p25canada.hop2.org, and the port is 4100. You don't have to type all that in. 
Once you've done that, you do a control X. And in your case, it'll, it'll ask you if you want to save it. You say yes with a Y. Then you would uh, hit enter to save the file name, which should be shown as uh, p25host.txt, exactly as you see it here. And then it's saved. Now, once you've done that, you want to exit the uh, SSH screen by going exit and exit. If this pops up, session closed and a connect, that means we are done. So basically the next step is to uh, update. Okay. You know, you'll probably get already up, updated for most of this stuff, but when it gets to host files, it'll take a little minute or two because it's adding the new stuff that we've just added. And when it's finished, it'll say done, updating, fire, updating firewall, starting services. It's going to wait for a second, and then it'll say finished. When it says finished, you can go to configuration, scroll down to, oops, I went too far. Scroll down to the uh, P25. If you don't have that selected, you'll have to select it here. And what you should see in your list of servers is 302-P25-Hop2.org. Okay. You can apply changes if you like, but I want to show you something first. Dashboard. Oh, are already linked, so let me unlink. Okay, you can use this to link to it by going down, whoa, I forgot to wait. I get impatient with this thing, it takes so long. Eventually it'll come back. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's come back. Scroll down to the uh, P25 configuration. And just so you can see how it works, we're not linked. So you can either use configuration, go down to P25 and select that talk group, or you can use your radio. Let me turn it on. Oh, radio. Oh, it's charging. I can't use it right now. Okay. Um, so you could use your radio by going to, uh, you'd have to program your radio for the talk group 302 if it's not already in there. Uh, you'll need to uh, use uh, some program like the one I use is CPS. Uh, anyway, you'll have to add talk group uh, 302 in there to your uh, to your channel. Or you can come here and just click on that and say apply. It's connecting to my Raspberry Pi. Sooner or later it'll come back and you go to dashboard and you will see that it's now connected to 302 and now you're ready to go ahead and transmit on talk group 302 Canada. If there's any other talk groups in the list that you can't get into and you know their uh, server address, you can add the server in exactly the same way. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching Dave's Life Over 65 and uh, hope uh, that you check back with us often. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button if this was of any use to you. And if you want to see any other videos that I do, you can click on the bell and that'll uh, set up notifications so that any time I upload a video, you will get a notification. Now, how do I stop this thing? <laughs>